Thank you so much for purchasing the Basics of Cybersecurity course. I hope I will be able to translate my knowledge and expertise to a fruitful experience through this course and other many coming courses. I hope you will enjoy it and benefit from it to the max. Thank you. In this slide, you will find my contact details. Hello, guys. Before continue to watch this video, just simply click subscribe button and bell notification to subscribe this channel. Thank you. Anytime you have question, you have a consultation, you have anything in mind that you would like to share with me, I'm, I'm really happy to answer and uh, give feedback to any uh, email or a message I receive. In this slide, you'll find information about my experience and background. I have more than 20 years of experience in the IT industry, starting with programming, as I have programmed many desktop and mobile web applications using many languages like BASIC, COBOL, NCC, Assembly, C++, Visual Basic, Java, and other languages. I have worked in system analysis and design as I have designed many complex uh, applications and solutions to enterprises. I have worked in the project management field, managing multiple projects in a timely and efficient manner with cost and resource optimization. I have worked in the information security intensively, focusing on the encryption, delivering um, consultation services to many enterprises. I have worked in the IT audit and governance, and finally in the IT management, managing many departments uh, across the region. I have a PhD degree in information security, as I have obtained my degree from the United Kingdom back in 2013, focusing on the information security and fuzzy logic. My thesis was all about securing financial messages using cryptography. Uh, I have managed to secure XML messages from financial institutions uh, in an efficient and um, robust way, securing those messages in a timely manner, and as I have optimized the W3C recommendation in that regard. I have many publications, um, whether journal paper or conference paper, in many journals, scientific journals. I have a couple of book chapters published as well, and as I, I worked in the consultation services for many enterprises. I hope I will be able to translate my expertise and background using this course and other coming courses. Welcome to cybersecurity, which is the fastest moving topic in the IT industry nowadays. In this course, we will explore the space of cybersecurity and main components. We'll check also threats attacks, prevention methods, hacking techniques, encryption methods, cryptography, and much more. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the course. Main content of the course divided into five main chapters. Chapter one will talk about the cybersecurity terminology and main components. Chapter two will discuss cyber threats and protection. Chapter 3 will talk about cyber risk management. Chapter 4 about cryptography. And finally, business continuity and disaster recovery in chapter number 5. Welcome to chapter 1, which is the introduction to cybersecurity. Let us start by breaking down the concept of cybersecurity, which is actually a set of technologies, processes, and practices, all designed to protect computer assets like networks computers, programs, and data from being attacked or damaged or even unauthorized access, all to achieve the principle of confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data, which were what we call the CIA triangle. Elements of cybersecurity consist of three main components. The first component is the confidentiality, the second is integrity, and the third is availability and we refer to them as the CIA triangle. If we take the first element which is the confidentiality we need to make sure that information or resources are hidden from being accessed by unauthorized parties. In other words only people who are authorized to do so can gain access to sensitive data. 
Integrity means that we need to ensure that unauthorized changes to data or information are prevented. So we are ensuring the authenticity of information and the information is not altered, changed or modified and to make sure the source of information is genuine. The third element which is the availability is to make sure that required data or information is accessible at all times but only means the information is accessible by authorized users. Let us talk about a few terms uh, within the cybersecurity, like cyberspace. It's actually the virtual domain or virtual environment within the information environment. So it's a part of the uh, information environment that consists of an independent network of information system infrastructures. That might include internet, communication networks, computer system, and integrated processors. So a collection of information system infrastructures. Uh, the cyber crime it's actually the illegal behavior from its name the crime means that you are doing a crime within the virtual space so it's the legal behavior associated with the global information networks threat is the ability to cause serious harm to a computer system bear in mind a threat is something that may or may not happen but it has the potential to cause massive damage and threats can lead to attacks on computer systems networks and more there are many forms of possible threats like physical threats including floods fire war vandalism and earthquakes there's accidental errors like administrative errors programming or software errors there is unauthorized access which is the information leakage and hacking systems we do have a malicious misuse, which is the software or information that is corrupted for fraudulent purposes. And we do have the malware, which is the software that is designed to access or destroy computers or servers without the owner's knowledge. In the coming few slides, we'll talk more about additional terms in cybersecurity like attacks, cyber attacks, information security, hackers, ethical hackers, and so on. Starting with the attacks. It's actually when unauthorized person is able to access your system or data with or without your knowledge. And most attacks occur when one or more parts of your system are at risk or exposed or not properly secured. Note that most attacks occur without your knowledge and by using sophisticated tools or applications that could harm your system. Another definition, it's any attack on a computer is an attempt to expose, alter, disable, destroy, steal, or unauthorize access to your assets. Cyber attack is another important term in cybersecurity, which is an attack launched from one or more computer against another computer, multiple computers, or even a complete network. Cyber attacks can be broken down into two types. Attacks where the goal is to disable the targeted computer or knock it offline. And attacks where the goal is to get access to the target computer's data. Hacker is anyone with technical skills, often referring to someone who uses their capabilities to access unauthorized systems or networks to commit crimes. Now, the ethical hacker is a computer and network expert who systematically tries to hack a computer system or network on behalf of its owners in order to find vulnerabilities that malicious hackers can exploit. So the main target of the ethical hacker is to find vulnerabilities and risks in order to present them to the business owner so they can assist and fix these vulnerabilities. The information security is the protection of information from security threats to maintain confidentiality, integrity, accuracy, and availability of information and associated assets. In the coming slide, we'll differentiate between the information security and cybersecurity. So what's the difference between information security and cybersecurity? The term cybersecurity and information security are often used interchangeably as they are responsible for security and computer system protection from threats and information violations. However, there is a difference. 
which is that information does not have to be on a computer to be in need of an information security system even if it's stored in a file cabinet it needs good information security however cybersecurity deals with protecting data and information from outside sources in cyberspace or the internet we can say that cybersecurity is a part of information security that's the main difference as we can see in this photo the intersection between information security and cybersecurity actually is the information involving cyberspace. 